Shannon! No more Shannon! Final home game of the season now tonight. Uh, draw in the middle of Cliftonville. What's the emotions that I just suppose it was an entertaining game for both sides, really? Look, it was. I think we've, uh, in weeks gone by, we've lost our way a wee bit. Uh, you know, travelling, uh, putting different teams out. But, hey, uh, the boys know it hasn't been good enough. Uh, we were definitely suffering from the post Harry Cavan Blues and boys going through the motions and getting out of school at four o'clock on a Thursday, going up the road to get down. It's been hey, frustrating, however. We've only lost one at the home all year against Lintorn. We have made Fisher a wee bit of a a wee bit of a fortress. So it was nice to come down and clean sheet yet again for the lads yep. and finish the season on a high, even with the fireworks at the end. Yep, I suppose um, you kind of knew I suppose, what to expect going into the night as well. Cliftonville again are a well organised and well drilled side, and again they showed that tonight. Would you agree we maybe rode it up a wee bit at times? Well, I think, you know, again, it comes down to personal our boys uh, since the and we haven't been uh, training uh, yep. because of. GCSEs, school exams, bank holidays, parents going away and whatnot. So hey, there was more. The result tonight was never going to annoy me as long as the performance was good. And they showed a bit of battle and a bit of attitude, hunger and desire. Hey, I think they had one chance in the first half that they fell wide of yeah. the post. But I thought at times two, we created two or three. It was a tight. It was a tight game. There wasn't much open spaces. I think they rattled the post with a great effort in the second half, but then you're Sproul. And then we hit the bar off Sproul. Yeah, you know, crossbar, he rattled the crossbar, and we could have potentially followed up a hot cherry. And then he stuck it well, kind of over the top of the ball, watching it come down. But hey, don't know if I'd say we rode our luck. I think sometimes in games you need a uh, wee bit of luck. I think we were fortunate, fortunate with the one or two things that went our way. Then at the same time, we didn't get the luck until the end. So. And again, two lads stepped in from 08 tonight, younger than their age. Uh, and again, give very positive performances. What's your thoughts on that? Well, I think, hey, I think everyone, everyone's aspiration at the club, all the players coming through, they want to be behind me there. Maybe not with the state of the pitch at the moment, but they want to be behind me there every Saturday. Right in the pitch represent Malamar and first team and I think they realise how competitive it is and uh, I think the culture and the DNA which is put into the lads they're a lot more aggressive, they're a lot more competitive uh, now that they have been and they've been getting there throughout the year. Uh, I think they've learned the basics of the game very well this year. So it's great to see the young lads coming in excited and want to step part of that and then when they see them on competing for the first ball or the yep. second ball or being aggressive or trying to get on the front foot, it gives them uh, an environment which they're coming into which is learning for them, so very pleased. And I suppose looking at the highlights of the season, um, Harry Gavin's bound to be up there, any other standout highlights? Well, I... We've had, I think there was four or five old fives available. This is an old five competition, uh, this age group. So it is uh, for the under 18s. Now uh, it's been a majority of old sixes. So the lads have been playing a majority a year young for the year. And uh, we've been missing, the likes of Dylan Boyle has been out now for a fair bit since February, March. He didn't feature in Harry Calvin. He got a knock before that, mind you. Young Ethan Abercrombie, young Liam Corey. Uh, there's four or five lads that uh, just through injury or different things they haven't really featured so to see O sixes a year young coming into a league that's a year over them and competing and I think they've selected mid place like 41 or 42 points this year in uh, the season that has 28 games I think Cubs have done that to me that's very amazing The future definitely bright for the club Ryan thanks again No worries thank you